Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, another video here, obviously. Um, this is another uh, LCD game here. No, I was going to say Game & Watch then, but it isn't part of, obviously, Nintendo's Game & Watch uh, range. But it's it's listed here as Q&Q's Card Game Clock Treasure Island. Now, this particular... I've just noticed that it says CMB there, Commodore Business Machine Corporation. <laughs> uh, not likely. But basically, um, this isn't my original. This isn't my original. I had this, I bought one of these around about December 1983, I think it was. I nearly said four then. I think it was Christmas 1983. I bought it with some Christmas money. I specifically remember us going into town with my father uh, to spend some Christmas money in between Christmas and New Year. We'd, we'd, we'd not seen, well I'd not seen anything. A couple of my friends used to come as well spending their Christmas money. But I'd not seen anything. And then we got off the bus, uh, bus stop there, which was outside a local electronics shop. In the window they had all the Casio watches and everything like that. And then lo and behold, they had some of these Q&Q &Q LCD games in the window. And... There was this, and there's another one I think, I seem to remember one with a UFO. I'd have to have a look on Google. There was one with a, with a, with a UFO, but Treasure Island appealed to me because of the, the ocean, the island, and uh, some of the animals that are in the game. There's a shark in it as well, so there you go. That's, that, that's why it appeals to me as well. So it says two games, we'll get into that in a minute. What we'll do is we'll open this up, and I, again, I acquired this off, off eBay. A little bit like Donkey Kong, I acquired it off eBay quite a while ago, and um, it's come with the manual and everything like that. Like I said, I my box was long gone uh, when I when I had this uh, originally, and you know it's in relatively good condition. A little bit of wear and tear on the corner there, but that is absolutely fine. I'm 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 not too bothered about that. So, yeah, as you can see, let me get it up to the camera so you can have a good look at it. Hopefully the focus is picking that up. Um, it's got a bit of yellowing to the plastic here. I don't remember it being a creamish colour. I think it... Again, I don't know. I mean, certainly the buttons are all fine and everything. But I don't know if this is just like a plastic yellowing over time. I know my Commodore Amiga went to similar... A similar way to a degree but I'm going to clean that up at some point here um, yeah so I got this off eBay and very very happy to get this back I've had it for a while obviously these are being pulled out now to do a video but as you can see on the screen there the basic idea of the game is to get the little safari guy from his platform up here he jumps into the sea it's, it's like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, guys, 1983 style. <laughs> he, he jumps down into the water, onto the beach there, and he has to get the little key. In fact, why am I pointing with my big clumsy fingers? He has to get the little key that comes down here, and whilst avoiding the gunman there, and there's a guy in a cannon there as well, snake coming up from there, lion coming in from there, he then takes it into the hut. Now, you, you, you rinse and, let's roll the eyes, you rinse and repeat that, uh, a number of times. Now if you get the key and then you decide to back up or go there and the bird is uh, swooping in. You'll see the bird coming in a minute. You may have seen him already. There he is. The bird comes in and grabs the key off you see. Then you have to get the key again. Now there's like one, two, three, four, five moves to this basically. So very, 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 very straightforward. Uh, you know, not much to worry about really, but the game is quite difficult. You do this a number of times, and then from there, you have to take a treasure chest back. But what it does is it puts an overlay over all the screen of rocks and like a base down here. So when you're here, I think it is, you drop a bomb down onto him by pushing the attack button here. And that blows that up and puts a raft in the water, and then you can take the treasure chest back. Now, of course, as you're getting through this more and more and more... Um, the difficulty is increasing somewhat and more and more animals are, are appearing it's getting faster and faster there's more things to do more things to avoid and it just gets to a point where it kind of bottoms out and you know you, it's just going too fast now as part of the there's the main game and then let me just check 
So that's that's start the main game. But if I there you go, there's the casino thing there. So it puts the the triple seven at the top. So if I <laughs> three three three, there you go. I've just got five hundred points. I bet you I couldn't do that again. So yeah, it's just a little casino game in there, and then obviously you've got the main game here. Now we'll just have a, a look at this main game. Let's see how this turns out. So you can see. Sorry guys, just have to apologise about the bloody siren in the background there then. I've got I'm, I'm filming this in the conservatory again at the moment, so I've got the little roof panel open and uh, it's very warm again today and the door's shut there, there you go now I think you do this up to 500 points and then you start coming back again just trying to keep this as centre as I can on the camera as well it's a bit of a nightmare when I'm actually looking at the game to the side here as opposed to th through the screen on the back of the camera uh, with the way it's been angled to look down at the table So yeah, again, it seems uh, very responsive, really nice. Um, it seems quite simple initially. So we've not got the bird at the moment. We've not got the snake coming up from underneath us. We're just dealing with the, the alligator, the, the guy with the gun, the lion there at the right hand side, and then the guy from the back with the cannon. There you go, just died, got the little pirate flag, skull and crossbones at the top then. So yeah, you can move back obviously with the key, dodge back and forwards. I hope the camera's picking this up okay. It should do. Donkey Kong looked alright anyway, I think. Oh, it did. I know it did. Because <laughs> of uh, obviously we processed the video now. It's there on YouTube. Now back up though, didn't want to take a chance in case that door shuts on me. Now once you get to 500 points I think it is, you get the casino mini game kicking in where you can get some extra score, extra points. There you go, the key is in time though with the cannon. So we want to avoid that where possible. Here we go, we've got the key this time. Oof, snuck in there. Oh, back. So I think this is the last time now. Yeah, so wait. Stop, stop, stop. 577 is that. So watch what happens now. So now we've got to get the treasure chest back. Oh. So. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go, attack drops the bomb on that guy, raft, and then back on the boat. Bomb, raft, oh you've got to wait for the boat turning up. He's built the base back, bomb, so if you go on the raft and then step off it again, you've got to, you've got to bomb the base, there's a band in there somewhere. Oh Christ. <laughs> so there you go guys, that is uh, Treasure Island. Like I say, I hope it's picked it up on the camera. We'll have to see about that shortly. Have a look at what's going on there. Um, yeah, and then you can, we're back on the time and everything there. Now the thing is with this, with Treasure Island, is I used to hammer this when I was a kid. Uh, we're talking about use and comfort here again, uh, you know, so following a similar theme here with the watches and with the uh, with Donkey Kong when we spoke about Donkey Kong. Um, yeah, we absolutely hammered this. My mum was addicted to this when I was a kid and um, we used to take turns and see if we could beat each other's scores and stuff like that. But uh, I, I don't even know what happened to it. I cannot tell you what happened to it. 
I've no idea. I've no idea, guys, what happened to this. Usually I have a vivid memory of where things went and if they were given away, you know, to, to, to the Christmas sales and stuff, you know, the, the Christmas furs at school and stuff like that. But I don't know what happened to this. Uh, again, it's very comfy to play, guys. It's easy, left and right, and then the attack button there. You, you, you're not having move, you know, your thumb around too much. There's not much effort. Again, it's quite small, really. You know, but overall, it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's 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 quite thick actually. It's quite thick and chunky, you know. It's a nice little machine and everything like that. Again, value wise, um, I don't know what I paid for this on eBay. I certainly don't know what I paid for it when I was a kid, when I originally got it. Something tells me it must have been ten to fifteen pounds. And the reason I say that is that my Christmas money off my aunties and family and stuff like that was normally around about £15 round about Christmas. I used to feel mega rich when Christmas came round. One auntie used to give me £10 and uh, and then I used to get £5 off uh, my granddad. So I know it was around £15 um, for sure. That's that's a definite that. So this must have cost £10 to £15 because I don't think me, me dad wanted to put anything to it. I can't see it being £20 at the time. So we're talking £10 to £15 there. Enjoyment wise, I love this. The reason I've got it today, again, we've mentioned it before, we'll mention it again, it is nostalgia. You know, it's it's a nostalgia thing. We always talk about nostalgia on the Twitch stream and stuff like that, and uh, things we remember and things we, we enjoyed in the past as youngsters and stuff like that, you know, the 8-bit computers and other memories, so on and so forth. So yeah, a lot of enjoyment out of this as well, and again, it'll sit in the collection here, It'll gather some dust, it'll come out occasionally, I'll have a look at it, just to, again, just to escape to simpler times for five or ten minutes, just takes you away from everything else, reminds you of things that have, have been and gone, and, um, you know, it's it's just nice to, to dip back to stuff like this. So I'm really glad I chased this down and I got it, because it's a, it's a lot of fun, and like I say, you know, a bit like Donkey Kong, I pop it on the shelf, uh, we you know use it as a clock. It's nice to see it running. It's nice to see the animations and stuff like that There's no alarm on this or anything guys. It, it, there's nothing like that um, It's just the time and the casino game aside of the main game as well And it is quite loud actually. I remember oops. Sorry guys just catching the camera. I remember that um, a guy I knew Had one of these as well. I'm not so sure it wasn't this game it wasn't the UFO one, but that was loud as well from the speaker. And he, he cut out a square plaster and stuck it over to reduce the volume, basically. But it is quite loud. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, there you go, guys. That is Treasure Island LCD card game from Q&Q. &Q. Uh, Google them. Have a look at uh, what's going on. You'll see some of the other games that are available from this range. Obviously, uh, I think a cheaper alternative to Nintendo's Game & Watch series and probably to cash in on the... Uh, on the popularity at the time but in its own right a great little system guys really really nice if you've had one of these when you were a kid um, you know track one down again worth picking up and again in the comments below let me know if you own one of these let me know if you've had one of these let me know if you collected all the Q&Q &Q games let me know if you've got them stuffed away in the loft and stuff like that um, you know and again links below guys get involved in discord uh, get in touch have a chat with us there in the gaming section about stuff like this. And um, also get involved with Twitch. If you've got any questions about these or any of the other videos that I do, get in touch on Twitch when I'm streaming, when I'm doing a live stream. More than happy to have a chat with people. Not a problem whatsoever. Okay, guys, take it easy again. And thanks for watching. Very much appreciated. And I will catch up with you again in the next video. Take care.